Almost had one. Um, my name is Jimmy Liao. I'm a professor at the University of Florida. And um, I'm out here on the St. John's River, which has always been a traditionally very tough place to fish. And I've only figured out the secret in the last couple months with some help from my uh, fellow anglers. Stealthy. We're stealthy? What's stealthy? Yeah. We're stealthy. <laughs> Sneak in on these fish. Well, it turns out that fish don't like to chase healthy fish around because it's just too much energy, right? It's too much work. So what they do is they key in on sick um, minnows. And this exactly mimics a sick minnow. Only if you lift it up and then drop it. So I'm going to make a cast right now to try to de demonstrate that. I'm going to let it fall to the bottom on semi-slack line because they're going to hit it on the fall, not on the retrieve. And so what makes this place special is that underneath the water there's hundreds of fallen logs. And it's not that special when there's no current, but when there's actually current, what happens is water moves past these logs and it sets up these vortices or eddies. And these larger fish like to surf on these eddies because they can actually uh, kind of go with the flow. And then once the tides start, stop moving, everything shut down. The wood's still there, the fish is still there, but they stop feeding. So that tells you how critical it is to time it just right because the fish are cued in on surfing these underwater whirl whirlpools and, and only feeding when the bait is discombobulated. Because why, why chase healthy bait when you can get... There's a fish, there's a fish, I got one, I got one, I got one, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. he's coming up. There it is, <laughs> it's on, it's on, it's on. Woo. So there, there it was right there. Basically we threw it at the right time. I'm gonna swing him in the boat. Nice bass, nice bass. He's just feeding right on that. He's just feeding right on that bait. Exactly what we're talking about. It's the St. John's bass right there. All right, so you see that? So that bass was just sitting behind that wood. I wouldn't have caught him a half an hour ago. It's only when this tide is moving that these fish will actually chase this bait. So there it is. There's the St. John's bass. First one of the day. It's probably about 12 inches or so. This is a largemouth bass. You can zoom in and take a look at them. You basically have these fish saving energy while they're swimming, right, behind these eddies. And the, fi the bait fish are kind of disoriented, so it's easy pickings. So I'm going to put this fish back in the water. Again, it's a St. John's largemouth bass. See here the spiny dorsal fins here, the lateral line runs down the side. Look at that big mouth. Could probably eat something a third of its size, right? Intense. So that's the first fish of the day. All right. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ooh, fish. Fish, 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 fish. Right around my back. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh my god, oh my god, here it is. Check this out, check this out. Be there, be there, be there, be there, why are you there? <laughs>